Well, hello there everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a really fun video. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Kesha's birthday. Her birthday is March 1st and this video will be going out on March 1st. And we're going to be celebrating her birthday by doing a really fun rainbow look that she did. Uh, I'm going to actually just pop that in here real quick. All right, now that you saw it, here we are. So I'm gonna do that look. Uh, so excited to do it. The first time I saw it, I'm like, I have to do this look. Hence why I'm wearing this robe because there's gonna be a lot of colors flying everywhere and I don't want it to ruin any other clothing that I have. Uh, but so that's gonna be super fun. A uh, cute little update real quick. The name of the channel has changed to Erica Lauren Beauty because there is someone named Erica Beauty on YouTube already that has, um, a bigger following than me and I don't want to take anything away from her uh, so just wanted to change it out of consideration so we're Erica Lauren Beauty now you can still call me Erica Beauty if you want but the channel is going to be called Erica Lauren Beauty uh, other than that let's hop right into this video and let's become Kesha glitter rainbow here we go all right, so I'm gonna set my face with that uh, setting spray because I'm actually gonna start with foundation and concealer this time. I know that is not normal, but because this look is gonna kind of be all over my face, uh, I want to just get the whole face part done with. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty like always, and then we're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star concealer as well. Um, again, just to get my face ready to be covered in a bunch of different colors. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to fill in all of that. Uh, I did put some on my neck. If I did feel a little more creative and do some art on my neck, uh, but that didn't happen. So, I'm just concealing up those eyes and stuff uh, like I normally do. And we're just going to go and finish blending in that neck at the bottom there. And next, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. Just going to fluff them up a little bit, fill them in a little bit, obviously with Morphe. And I'm also going to use the Morphe eyebrow gel this time to keep everything in place for this look. Uh, again, I had so much fun doing this look. I don't know if I've already said that, but this was a really fun one to create. But there we go hold those eyebrows together. These are the palettes that I want to use, but I mainly just use the James Charles Mini Palette. As we know, whenever I use colors, I use that palette the most because I have everything that I need. So I'm going in with that blue that I showed you there, the darkest blue on that palette, and just packing it on. For this look, you can't really drag. It's just a lot of packing on and layering and layering and layering constantly. Uh, so it was a whole process to make this look come together and to be as vibrant as it turned out to be. And then the next blue I'm going to take is actually coming from Blue Blood because I think the blues in this palette are just amazing. And it had the perfect light blue that I was looking for. So I'm dragging it just to make the shape that I want. And then I'm going to continue packing on that shadow to create that bright bright blue sorry the lighting did change the sun was moving around and it was a rainy day so i had to keep changing the lighting around but there i go continuing to pack on the blue on the other eye again um this is all about layering this whole process is layering and packing on as much as you can uh, to make the colors pop out as much as you can. Next, I'm gonna take that yellow there. And that one really, honestly, you gotta pack it on a lot because yellow tends to be a lighter color when you put it on your skin. Uh, but the yellow from the James Charles palette is honestly a really good yellow. And it was easy to pack on and to make bright, which I really admire about this yellow. So it made making this look come together a little easier when using that yellow. And next we're gonna use um, that bright red right there from this palette as well. And this one we are going to have to drag down because it's gonna be longer than the rest and just keep packing it on where you originally dragged. 
There you go. Look at that. Just pack it all on. I was singing to myself. Uh, I'm weird like that. But, <laughs> yep, so just packing that on there. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to do that red. Yep, dragging it and then packing it on. That is the key for that red section. Because you want to drag it to make sure you have the proper shape. And then pack it on to make sure you have the proper color that you want. Next, we're going to put some white on the eyelids to contrast from the colors under the eyelids. Uh, and I put some white in the inner corner. And the rest is going to just be a lot of creativity. I'm going to start painting my face with white eyeliner. And that was honestly really, really fun. So that's the next thing that we're going to be watching. I am taking that Morphe white eyeliner and I'm going to draw... Uh, this circle around the middle of my forehead and it's gonna kind of look like a, a third eye I would say if that's what uh, Kesha intended but again super fun to make and I put my own twist on it so that was also fun too but yep so I'm just making the little triangles that she had in the picture and then at the end of that, I was like, you know what? Let me add some rhinestones to spice up the look. Uh, I love a good rhinestone moment. Rhinestones are always so much fun. So there I am going to go add in those rhinestones, a blue one right in the middle. And then I decided to pick two gold ones to put on the side. I'm going to put those on right now as I pick them out. There we go. It was hard to get them even, but, you know, I just went with it. There they are. And then I decided to add some extra rhinestones under the eyes. And here we go with mascara. This is that mascara I spoke about in my uh, February recap that I'm starting to like a lot. And that I've been using more often. Thank you, Stephanie, for bringing me this mascara. And that completes that look. It was so much fun to make, and I wish I could go out every day looking like this. Wow, this was honestly so much fun. Uh, I love Kesha. I've been listening to her since I was in seventh grade. So 12 years now, I've been obsessed with her, and I love all her work. And, oh, this was just so inspiring you know, this was her rainbow look for her rainbow album. And this is just like so much fun, honestly. I did spice it up and add some like rhinestones and stuff uh, because I love rhinestones. But wow, I'm actually impressed. In the beginning, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to hate this. I'm probably not going to like it. But I am so impressed. I love it. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Wow. I'm in love. Thank you guys for watching this. If you liked it, please, please, please share this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, share. This was so much fun. It would be so cool for people to see this. Uh, just... Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> I can't. So, yeah, please share. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram to see pictures of this look. Because I'm going to take some pictures of it now. But thank you guys so much for watching and for continuing to watch. And thank you for all the new people coming to my channel. It honestly means so much. And happy birthday, Kesha! You're the MVP. You're the real one. I love her so, so, so much. Thank you, Kesha, for always being true to yourself and fighting for what you believe in. Happy birthday, sis. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time.